smiles one day and uh, the next day she'd pretend she didn't even know you. Some kind of split personality, if you ask me. Do you have an address or phone number for this Erica Cullen? Yes. She runs the gift shop at the university. Thank you. Good choice in a precious morning. Oh. What do I owe you? Three dollars. There. They're beautiful, aren't they? Very beautiful. And they're for you. Miss Erica Cullen? Yes. My name is Church. I'm with the police. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Of course not. Knowing that you may remain silent and anything you say can be used against you in the court of law? What's this about? Mr. Frank Peralta was murdered. Oh, no. And I have witnesses that will testify that you were seen with him on the night of the murder. Must be some kind of mistake, huh? Excuse me, Eric. I forgot my paper. Can I help you? Who are you? My name's Jim Isley. I'm a psychiatrist. I have a professorship here. I'm a friend of Miss Cullen. Who are you? I'm the police. Were you with a Friday night? No. Well, then you can't help her. Do you have an out to lunch sign? I want to take you downtown for some questioning. I wasn't with him. Do you have any proof? Any witnesses? I run a dance studio after I close up here from about five on. I was there Friday, late, working on a recital for next week. Here, I have my card. Check it out. Look, what's going on here? The murder of Mr. Frank Peralta. Where did the coroner say? Time of death is Friday, between 10.15 and 10.45 p.m. Fingerprints on the knife? Now they're working on it. The story about working Friday night holds up. Yep, receptionist confirmed it. She worked all evening out. But that's impossible. There were a bunch of teenage ballerinas that saw her there, too. I, I can check them out. They can't all be lying. Uh, check out the time it takes to get from Peralta's place to the dance studio. Maybe she slipped out during a break. And make sure we get all the witnesses we can for the lineup. I don't get it. I just don't get it. It makes less sense to me than Chinese music. Sorry about Frank Perel. But I didn't kill him. And I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but you'll have to stay a little while longer. You see, you're the only suspect I have, and uh, there are certain formalities we have to go through. Like what? Like confronting the witnesses in the lineup. If you see the woman you saw at the Sierra Apartments in the presence of Mr. Frank Peralta on the night of February 18th, Friday night, please indicate by writing down the number above her. If uh, you see the woman who was working with you at the dance studio Friday night, February 18th, please indicate by writing the number down on your pads. 
Will you all please pass me your numbers? Number three, please stay. The rest may go. My problem is obvious. How can one woman be in two different places at the same time? Uh, Al, I think you've got a bigger problem. Officer? Timing the distance from Peralta's to the dance studio, when well, he drives up. Well, he can't be her because she's down there with you. Is there a remote possibility that any one of you might be able to tell them apart? Enjoy it. It isn't going to last. Tracy. No. You're Tracy and you're... Lee. Lee and Tracy. Hmm. And who's Erica? You don't have to answer any of his questions, Lee. We both are. Erica is an identity you assume when you're working. We only did it so we could take time off when we wanted to or when one of us was sick. Or covering for one another. I want to see our lawyer. So, Lee, who was working Friday? And who was with Mr. Peralta? One of us was working. And the other one was home in bed. And if you don't like that, try the Fifth Amendment. Why? Is there another sister? Why did you go half with some street walkers? Look. On what grounds? Obstructing justice. You'll never make that stick. I'm gonna try. Real hard. Identical twins of similar but not identical prints. The lab's going to send over an analysis. I know it's a long shot, but if only one set of prints ends up, maybe we'll have something. Oh, yeah. Receipts from the jewelers? It's for an engagement ring. Bought it one day, returned it three days later. Strange. Only because we can't figure it out. Yet. Don't worry about a thing. You'll be out of here by lunch. No. Why are we going? Uh, Doc. This is Dr. Isley. He's a psychiatrist. He knows the Cohen sisters. And he's an expert on twins. Oh, uh, just a second. I'm hardly an expert. I done a little research in the past. I didn't even uh, know they were twins. I only knew one of them. Which one? Well, if I knew that, you wouldn't have a problem, would you? Well, thank you for joining us, Dr. Isley. All right, enough. Lieutenant, you just grasping at straws. Uh, hold it a second. Dr. Isley, do you know the woman alleged to be Erica Cullen? 
I'm not sure. I know one of them. Look, we met at the university. I see her shop every day. She came to me once with some sleeping problems. I prescribed some sleeping pills, and that's the extent of our professional relationship. Well, couldn't the court order a series of tests to determine their personalities, and uh, Dr. Isley might even agree to administer them? Now, this farce has gone on long enough. Lieutenant, you know damn well they ain't a court going to accept a personality test. Unless, of course, they throw out the doctor-patient relationship and then let everybody just uh, testify against herself. Counsel for the defense is right. Thank you for coming down, Dr. Isley. I hope we haven't inconvenienced you too much. Not at all. If there's any way I can, I really would like to help. Thank you. I take it the fingerprint analysis was inconclusive? Both their fingerprints were found in Peralta's apartment. But the knife handle was smudged. Al, the state doesn't have a case. You're not going to let them walk out of here. The issue of reasonable doubt will continually undermine the case. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Twenty-three years I've been a cop. I've never seen such a thing. No one should be able to beat the system. I don't like a pressure crime, not even books. I especially don't like a thing that somebody could beat a murder rap. I'll tell you what you do, Al. Take a couple of weeks off. I'll tell Stenner you're working on special assignment. See what you can dig up. Give me something concrete, something I can use in court. I'll prosecute them to hell and back. Please, don't